welcome. The topic today is angle of elevation and depression and we have a question to illustrate. At point A, David observed the top of a tall building at an angle of 30 degrees. After walking for 100 meters towards the foot of the building, he stopped at point B where he observed it again at an angle of 60 degrees. Find the height of the building. So let's begin by having a sketch. So we have a tall building. And then, so this is the wall of the building. And then we have David somewhere this side. So let's call this point A. So that if David observes the top of the building, then he observes it at an angle which is 30 degrees. Now this angle is usually known as angle of elevation. And suppose another person was at the top of the building, then you'll see David at an angle of depression, which is the same as angle of elevation here, also 30 degrees. So what we've applied here is that we have two parallel lines, the ground and we have another horizontal up there. So that this line here forms a transversal line and 30 and 30 here are alternate angles. So we are told that David moves from point A towards the foot of the building. So we have the foot of the building at this point. So he moved 100 meters to point B. And at point B, we are told that the angle of elevation was 60 degrees and then the question we are asked is to find the height of the building so the building is at 90 with the ground so the first thing we will let the distance between point b and the foot of the building to be x so that considering the bigger triangle a up to the top to the foot and back to a that bigger triangle Considering that triangle will have 30 related to the height and the base by tangent. So again, we'll apply Sokator, where the height of the building is opposite to the angle and then the ground is adjacent. So we go to tangent. So applying tangent will say tangent of 30 degrees is equal to opposite which is the height of adjacent which is the whole of this length 100 plus x so this implies that so we make h the subject so h will be 100 plus x times tangent of 30 degrees so here i've cross multiplied so this should give us the first equation now the second equation we consider this other triangle from the top to point B and to the foot and back to the top. So that triangle again we have angle 60 related to the height and the base x by tangent. So we have opposite and adjacent. Again you're saying tangent of 60 degrees should be opposite that is the height of adjacent x making the height the subject so h is equal to x tan 60 again by cross multiplying so that gives us the second equation so considering equation one and equation two both of them are h so that means they're the same so we can equate them so say 100 plus x tan 60 sorry tan 30 is equal to x tan 60 and that means when you open the brackets here uh, our aim is to make x the subject so we are going to have here as 100 tan 30 plus x tan 30 so the x tan, uh, x tan 30 i'll let it cross so that we have equals to x tan 60 minus x tan 30 so 
x is a common factor here so i can switch these so that on the left hand side now i have x into tan 60 minus tan 30 and on the right hand side i can have 100 tan 30 it doesn't make a difference i just wish to have the subject on the left hand side so here we have uh, dividing both sides by tan 60 minus tan 30 here also tan 60 minus tan 30 so this and that will cancel so x we end up having us 130 divided by tan 60 minus tan 30 will give us 50 so once we've gotten x as 50 remember we are interested in h but h we have an expression here equation one or equation two i believe equation two makes work easy so the height will be obtained by simply having x tan 60 and x is 50 times the tangent of 60 and this worked out should be 86.6 six zero two five so that is it for this question thank you for your patience thank you for watching see you next time